This is, <coughs> this is hopefully a very short and sweet video about uh, something. I wasn't sure how it would work or if it would work, but basically I needed to have a function that returned an array. Actually, for the function I needed for the project, uh, an array of strings, but I wanted to be able to return an array of anything from a function. And I couldn't find any really good documentation on it. I actually found some pretty contradictory documentation on it. So I wrote a test program that ha has a function that returns an array of strings and a function that returns an array of integers. And the ret array returns an array of strings. And I basically uh, instantiate a random number generator and then generate a number between 0 and 6, which I probably should have made that 1 and 6. And then I uh, create a local array of strings that's that number. And I fill it in with some known values. And then I return the array, local array of strings. And then in the main program, uh, I basically have a local array to the main button event handler and I assign that to the array so I'm getting the size of the array from the function and I'm creating what is a static array but it works fine you know because it gets the length of the array from the function and it gets the values of the array from the function and basically I go through and write into a multi-line text box when I got returned and it works correctly. I did the same thing with integers. Uh, identical process. So if we compile and run this and say I, I get array string you see I got three members the first time and I do it again and this time I got four members I do it again and this time I got two members I do it with integers and I got zero members. That's why I shouldn't have said zero. And I do it again and I got four members. And so basically the whole process works and it's excellent. You know, it's exactly what I needed. It works very simply and straightforwardly and use static arrays. You don't have to use generic lists or anything else. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I certainly need it for what I needed it for. So. Uh, hopefully it'll be useful to you too. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.